Hey guys, thanks for tuning in for today's video, and today's video is um, just to show you how to boost your frame rates and what to do to um, boost them. So, first of all, I have to go to customize. Um, target frame rate. Uh, most people put it on unlimited, thinking they'll get the maximum of it, but that's not true. If you've got a low spec computer, I'd set it for about 30, 30 to 20. And if you've got a pretty good, decent computer, you can set it a bit higher, around 70 to 80. But unlimited, you get very inconsistent frame rates. Um, pre preview Direct X 10, you don't want, you don't want that because that does affect the frame rates as well. Lens flare and light bloom, I recommend recommend you do not have it because that will affect some. Uh, I've had some issues that wouldn't affect it, so that's okay. And the aircraft. Uh, aircraft landing lights, uh, you can have that, I don't find it affects a lot. Aircraft cast shadows on itself, and the shadows do affect it. I like can see I have the aircraft cast shadows on the ground, I do. It does affect it a little bit. High resolution 3D cockpit, virtual cockpit, if you're in the virtual cockpit, um, it doesn't really affect the frame rates in the cockpit. Scenery, this is where this is where I think seems to go. Um, level of detail radius um, for low quality computers I would probably have it to small to medium and just and then for obviously high quality computers you have it all onto the max uh, the mesh um, resolution and textures and that it's not a big difference um, I normally have it about 80 I normally have it about that, like that something like that and of course for um, low specs you have it a bit lower but mesh resolution doesn't affect it much uh, water effects affects it big time this is where the frames get eaten up a lot as well I have it on low and if uh, th I like the quality of it at low if you got it on very high max 2 then you'll see a massive massive decrease in frames with these water effects up this so I recommend you keep it low and if you've got a computer, uh, you can put it on high. And the quality max to medium is good. And then you you, could, you can see a bit of a difference when it's on low, but I still like it on low. Scenery, complexity, very dense. I got it on very dense. Um, it's alright, it doesn't affect much. Um, auto gen does. Um, uh, extremely dense will affect it, the frames a lot and I find extremely dense too many stuff anyway I normally have it on dense or normal uh, for low end computers uh, I won't put none, I'll probably put spares to normal uh, ground scenery shadows I don't have that, I'm not sure if it does have a big effect on frames or not uh, special effect detail high high to medium would be nice weather nothing really affects it here maybe cloud or distance might affect it a bit but 60 miles that's all you really need and the biggest biggest eater of the frames is of course the traffic um, yeah airline traffic if you, uh, if you don't have world of eye traffic I wouldn't even bother having traffic because default FSS traffic as you know is crap um, yeah, like I said, this eats a lot. Um, if I, like I said before in my earlier video, if I'm using default scenery where I get more frames, I will have traffic. But if I'm using that on scenery, I won't. And this is where it depends. It depends. You have to try it out for yourself. See how many frames you get: 100 and then zero. General aviation traffic density and airport airport vehicle doesn't have a biggest effect, but still has an effect. Road vehicles, ships, and ferries, and leisure boats. It's up to you as well, you have to test it out and see how it works on your systems, put it to low and high, see the different effects. And of course, lower traffic you have, better frames you get, but only by one or two, maybe five frames. But when it goes to airline traffic, can get to over ten frames in areas like Heathrow and New York, bigger places with a lot of traffic, it can the frames will descend a lot. Uh, this isn't the only way to um, boost frames. Um, I'll feature a video later on a different way to boost frames. And um, hope you enjoyed this video. And if, if you didn't understand anything, leave a comment below. I'll talk to you guys later on.